right we now want to look at the calculation of rent calculation of rent when a decrease amount is given when a decrease amount is given our accounting period starts on the 1st of March 2018 up until the 28th of February 2019 very important to note the accounting period when you are dealing with the adjustments so may I also advise that you take a blank paper and copy this transaction so that we are able to work together if the transaction says a tenant a tenant paid rent of 400,000 for the period one March twenty eighteen to thirty first March twenty nineteen. Right? Rent was decreased rent was decreased by 4,000 on 1 December 2020 on 1 December 2018 right this is the transaction the transaction says a tenant paid the rent of 400,000 for the period of 1 March 2018 to 31st March 2019 rent was decreased by 4,000 on the 1st of December 2018 so we want to calculate a rent if you also look at this transaction it is clear that rent has been received in advance for 13 months it has been received in advance for 13 months but we cannot be able to take that 400,000 and just divide it by 13 because rent has not been the same from the beginning up until the end of the accounting period there was a decrease of 4000 from the 1st of December and if you're calculating the number of months from the 1st of December it is December January February and March so that's a decrease of four months so the decrease is 4 multiplied by 4000 the decrease is 4 multiplied by 4000 which equals to 4 multiplied by 4,000 that's 4, 8, 12, 16 that's equals to 16,000 so the decrease is 16,000 so what do you need to do in this case you need to take the total amount which is 400,000 the total amount that we have received for 13 months which is 400,000 which includes a decrease and we add back the 16,000 assuming that there was no decrease how much was rent before the decrease so you need to take the 400,000 and you add back the 16,000 and want to assume that there was no decrease if there was no decrease the total amount that would have been received is 416,000 so the total amount would have been 416,000 if we add back the decrease. 
so then we can now be able to divide this 416,000 by 13 and if we divide it by 13 416,000 divided by 13 416,000 divided by 13 equals to 32,000 so rent that's 32,000 32,000 so rent was 32,000 before it decreased because remember we are getting this 32,000 from the amount wherein we added back it decrease and it's 416,000 so rent before decrease was 32,000 and the decrease per month is 4,000 so 32,000 minus 4,000 so it means rent after decrease is now 28,000 so rent after decrease is 28,000 so we now know e rent per month so the rent before decrease was uh, 32,000 and it went down by 4,000 and then now rent is 28,000 so the first thing that you need to do when rent has decreased you need to calculate the number of months for the decrease so in this case we have only four months you multiply four months multiply by 4,000 so the total decrease is 16,000 so the total decrease is 16,000 and then you add back the 16,000 400,000 multiplied by 16,000 equals to 416,000 so the rent decreased by 4,000 per month so then this is 400,000 plus 16,000 equals to 416,000 if you divide that by 13 you now get the rent before decrease rent before decrease was 32,000 and now that it has decreased by 4,000 so it is now 28,000 per month so rent after decrease is 28,000 per month so how is this going to be recorded in the income statement how is this going to be recorded in the income statement rent income statement under operating incomes under operating incomes you will have your rent income you open up the brackets the total amount is 400,000 and then minus 28,000 which is income received in advance so then you have 400,000 minus 28,000 equals to 372,000 so your rent income amount will be 372,000 so that's 372,000 that is how you calculate rent when there is a decrease you need to calculate the number of months for the decrease you add the decrease back assuming that what will be the total amount if, if there was no decrease and then you are able to divide by the number of months that we have received to get the rent before decrease and when you subtract the decrease per month then you know that your rent after decrease is 28,000 per month so in your income statement you'll have your operating incomes rent income that's 400,000 minus 28,000 equals to 372,000